Hey guys, Drew here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Uh, <clears throat> got myself another uh, Bavaria beer here. Um, but on tap, it always says Royal Swinkles Family Brewers. Not quite sure what's going on there, but uh, we have three of them in the beer store. I did the extreme. I'm doing now the red, uh, which is a strong beer, 7.9% alcohol. Um, 500 ml. Uh, this is brewed from, imported from Holland. Uh, <clears throat> and like I said, I cannot quite read that stuff on this can. On this side, it says uh, ingredients. Gl um, wait, strong beer, ingredients. Natural mineral water, barley malt, glucose syrup, sugar, color, Plain caramel, hop extract. Jesus, what am I drinking? Oh my God, this this cannot be good for you guys. No, no, that's why I do it, so you don't have to. But if this is a good review, that I I'm, I want you to go out and get it. Um, best before May 2022. Right there. Uh, and not the other two cans. I have the blue one in there. I think that's the original. And I did the extreme, but this one has like these bumps all over it is quite fantastic beer it's it's like you could grip it um 7.9 it doesn't give me any U, ibu on untapped and i keep saying untapped or maybe i should start going to rate beer uh because it's 2.86 out of five with 6317 ratings uh eat your heart out little red riding hood jesus I can't ex why 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 are you bringing little, little red riding hood in here um this dark red lager is just as sweet as you nice nice look at my wings eh? I, gotta, I need a haircut big time uh, oh. um but a little less innocent 8.6 red is all natural bullshit right there all natural but but the ingredients say Plain caramel, glucose syrup, hop extract. This is not natural. Um, best barley, wheat and hops mixed with pure mineral water from our own sources. A beer with a complex aroma of grains and caramel and a bittersweet finish in which the high alcohol percentage lingers through. It takes a strong constitution not to attack this lovely lager immediately. For all those who can't wait for the next super blood moon eclipse. Okay, I don't know. Let, let's get into this. Let's see what I the smell. Um, like I said, it's 7.9. Yes, it's a Monday. Yes, it is a dark red lager. Yes. To be honest, it, there's not much carbonation in there. Looks nice. Looks like a dark lager. Right? Ah. This is... Okay, I'm getting... It's malty. Ah, okay. Oh. Sweetness. Like a sugar cane or something. Uh, complex aromas of grains. Yeah, you get grains. But I don't smell caramel. It says and caramel. And a bittersweet finish in the in which the high alcohol percentage lingers through. Okay, so I'm not seeing much upside down snowfall. I don't know. All right, let's get into this. Like you, you try something different. I, I keep saying it. That's sweet. This one's a little too sweet. I don't know, don't know what they got in here. Bitter caramel and a bittersweet finish in which the high alcohol percentage lingers through. It takes a strong constitution not to attack this lovely lager immediately. Um, 
I, I wish they calmed down on the sweetness here. Oh, because all I'm getting is like corn syrup. That's what I'm getting. And glucose syrup. Hop extract. Um, okay. It's not bad. It's not the extreme. The extreme was wonderful. Uh, will I dump this? No. Uh, but uh, it's not my favorite. Definitely. Uh, it's not as good as the extreme. Which I believe I gave that a 7, 9, or an 8. Which I can't find it. I know I got it. It's on my phone, not on here. Uh, too sweet for me. Way too sweet. I wish they calmed down on the sweet. I, I know what they're doing. Because of the alcohol percentage, they're trying to... Uh, because you don't taste the 7-9. Of course you don't. With the sweetness, of course you don't. Uh, it's not my... Not my type of beer. It's, it's drinkable. If, like I said, if I was at your house and you offered this, I'd drink four of them on you because, yeah, of course I will. It costs $3.05 for this. Of course I'll drink four of them on you. But, am I going to buy this one again? Not like the Extreme. I'll buy Extreme for sure. That's drinkable. It's passing score for sure. I just wish they calmed down on the sweetness. The sweetness is too much. Or one more sip and I'll get into uh, a reading. <clears throat> six three. Yeah, six three. It's it's okay. Right? Uh not the best. I this is a slow sipper for sure. Um <clears throat> Yeah, it's, sorry guys, if you guys like this, well, I apologize, it's just not my forte since I don't like the sweetness in it as much as, say, other people. I bet you it's a huge seller. It's coming all the way to Canada from Holland. Like, this is a big seller. Or unless they can't sell it in Holland and they have to find a new market, and that's why it's here in Ontario. That could be it too. Ah, uh, six three guys, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I was kind of hoping this one was a lot better. I'm a little disappointed in this one compared to the Extreme. Uh, if you haven't seen the Extreme video, go down below and check out the Extreme video. Uh, I had that for breakfast beer too, I believe. And that, that's like 10.5 or 11%. Fantastic. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, this is not my forte. But yeah, you gotta try something different. Uh, I tried something different, just not the best. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Cheers.